Hello everyone, thanks for joining. In our last session, we covered how to spin a Jenkins master Docker container. Uh, and then we also learn a bit about how we get into the Jenkins as an administrator, a super user. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to cover how we can get the Jenkins agent containers attached with our master that to on demand all right so our goal out of this tutorial is that we are going to configure jenkins master to spin a slave docker container to perform our builds on demand and the prerequisite is that the jenkins master container has to be up and running over docker container so in case if your jenkins master is not yet up and running please pause this video and watch my previous video and tutorial which is about running jenkins master over docker containers so we are looking at high level design we do have a local host or a machine on which we have a docker installation then we have a jenkins master container running in the machine which will further call docker api and then docker api is going to spin a jenkins slave machine for us so this is how we are going to achieve it we'll install the docker plugin to our jenkins master then we are going to expose the docker api default port which is 2375 to another port because 2375 is mostly secured um, and we'll use the command that is written here to do step number two the step number three is we are going to identify the docker host machine from within our jenkins master container and these are three different platforms mac windows and unix and that is how we can access it for mac instead of using local host or maybe the ip address of the host machine we can just say docker for mac local host followed by the port number and that is how we can access it uh, for windows docker for win local host for unix docker host internal um, but i have seen many uh, blogs wherein it has been claimed that docker host internal doesn't work anymore with docker version 19 so as a workaround i have followed these two steps one is to use if config and pick the ip address that is configured to docker 0 so this is the screenshot of uh, if config that i executed the IP address came up as 172.17.01. Once I have done this, uh, then the step two is about updating the firewall D publics dot public dot XML file, uh, and then I added this rule so that it will allow the traffic from my Docker container to my local host machine. And then the fourth point is just run and review the Jenkins job. It's don't worry about all of it because in few minutes you will see how easy it is to implement altogether. Uh, with this, we are moving on to the Jenkins installation, our Jenkins master. And with this, I'll go into manage Jenkins, manage plugins, go to available plugins. Here we can search for Docker. And with this, we can install Docker. I'll say download now and install after restart. So it is installing Docker and Docker API. I'll let it restart the Jenkins when the installation is complete enable the refresh and jenkins is getting restarted jenkins is restarted we can log in and go to manage jenkins configure system i 
and we can scroll to the bottom okay so here we see the option cloud we can say add a new cloud with the option docker and then we can provide docker cloud detail this is looking for a value docker host uri which is a uri for our docker api to get that uri i have to switch over to my terminal and we will execute the command docker run and we'll use the image shipyard docker proxy okay so docker run we'll use 3375 and war run docker dot socket and war run docker dot socket we want this to be run as a background job and then we'll use image shipyard docker proxy all right so we have got two containers up and running one is our Jenkins and another one is for docker proxy now if you want to identify which version of API is installed in your machine then you can execute the command docker version and this is where you can see the available API for your docker version uh, to me it shows API version 1.40 now we can we can do a quick test here um, let me increase the font size in case um, okay so what we are going to try is we will try to access our docker api uri from jenkins master container to do that i will execute a command docker exec and my jenkins master container name and go http docker for mac localhost and we'll use port number 3375 version 1.40 because this is the version of docker api in my machine and we can say info okay so it is returning all these contents to me so it definitely suggests that at port number 3375 my docker api is accessible so now i can switch over to docker host uri our jenkins master and i can give value as in tcp docker for mac localhost port number 3375 and i can test the connection cool so i can test the connection the version number of my docker and api version is available so it is successful uh i'll select that as enabled the next step we have to do is setting up docker agent templates so in docker agent templates we will provide the name of our docker agent 
we can just call it agent one and then the image that we are going to use the image we'll use for this purpose is Jenkins slave and then it will look for registry authentication this registry authentication is for hub.docker.com so you have to pass those credentials if it is not added already you can add and provide your password and add it from here you can select the credentials so that this this will basically enable the Jenkins master to download the Jenkins slave image from hub.docker.com repository and we will set the instance capacity as to can keep it as is use this node as much as possible and we'll keep everything else same and docker template okay now we'll delete this apply and save since master home page we can still see the build executor status there are two build executor already available and these are most probably being provided by the master itself so to disable them we will go to manage jenkins and then manage nodes and we will select master and go to configure and here as number of executors we can set zero and save it so this is where our build executors are gone now uh, we don't see any build executor available so this is how we are going to test if that docker agent that we have configured is going to work or not to test that i will schedule a build for demo application project and we will refresh the page so this is currently docker agent one it is showing it as offline and in few minutes it will okay so it is online and performing our build the demo application build is in progress i'm just continuously refreshing the page and that's it our first build is successful and the build executor is again gone to zero it means and proves that our Jenkins slave container was available on demand as and when we requested build the docker container for Jenkins slave came up did the job and then it went away so this is how simple it is to achieve Jenkins master and slave over docker containers and to implement on-demand strategy all right so here is the quick summary of our achievement we installed the docker plugin to Jenkins master and then we exposed the docker api port 2375 to another port we use 3375 but feel free to use any of the available port in your local local machine uh, the third point we achieved is we configured Jenkins with Docker API and we also defined our slave template and Finally, we ran and reviewed the Jenkins job. So this is all about it Thanks for watching the tutorial. Please hit like and subscribe if you like the video and feel free to leave the comments. Have a good day